Well, you have a different, different. Okay, I was wondering why yours was white. You have a different. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to Boston tomorrow right? to bring her out Cal Hall, pick her up, take her home. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the mics are on. I drove back from North Carolina yesterday. Oh, he's in right? And the script. <laughs> the uh, the gas shortage in the southeast was a real thing. Oh, oh is it? Did you have to wait long? No, but it took me six tries to find a gas station that had gas. Wow. Were the prices up? No, they weren't. They weren't. Um, my wife told me about this this app before I left called uh, Ga uh, Gas Buddy. And it's tr traditionally for a journal. You know, unfamiliar spot, find the cheapest gas around, but in this case, it was a little yeah. like where they actually had it. Just where it was open. Yeah, so wow. and it worked. It worked. <laughs> one place, me. bless you. Thank one place, you. Place of pictures. Yeah, they, yeah. they, they, they had, had it. it. They had it. They had it. They had it. They had it. Do we have any particular building rules on the on the map? Um, yeah, everybody should be aware of the map unless you you know behind the plexiglass and up there you know, you want to become confused. But we have not relaxed any of our maps or any of the sign everywhere. I think it's more like a social awareness for what we know. Yeah, no.
Okay, everybody. Good evening, everybody. It is 7.04, uh, Thursday, March 13th, 2021. The meeting of the Milburn Short Hills Business Organization is hereby called to order. Um, notice of the time, date, location, and agenda of this meeting to the extent then known was provided at least 48 hours prior to the commencement of this meeting in the following manner pursuant to the provisions of NJSA 10 colon 4-6, the Open Public Meetings Act by posting such notice in town hall and the township's website by notification to newspapers on December 23rd, 2020 of the annual schedule of 2021 and by providing notice to the township clerk. I'd ask that we all rise for the salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Tracy, will you do a roll call, please? Uh, yeah. Uh, Jumana Culligan. We'll be delayed. She'll be here shortly. Okay. Tracy Casperlin, here. Andrew Morgan, here. Nadege Nickel, here. Michael Parvovecchio, here. Richard Wasserman, here. Stephen Weiner, here. Oh. Alex McDonald, here. Jackie Benjamin Lieberberg, here. Okay. We start our meetings reading the mission statement of our group, the purpose of a special improvement district is to promote, grow, and support local businesses, property owners, residents, and visitors. Milburn Township SID Ordinance designates a new district management corporation whose mission is to encourage the economic, cultural, and social vitality of Milburn Township through increased marketing and visibility, improved and renewed infrastructure, and local business development and engagement. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'd like to uh, take a motion to approve the minutes from the April 8th, 2021 meeting. That's the open session of that meeting. Uh, copies of the minutes of that meeting have been distributed. If you've had any uh, comments or updates or deletions, changes, uh, please let us know. If not, I'll take a motion to approve those minutes. Motion. Can I have a second, please? Second. Okay, all in favor of approving those minutes, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, let's approve those minutes. Next is public comments. We invite you uh, in the audience, or I don't. Are we still doing people remotely? Uh, yeah, we have three. three okay. All right. So when invited to speak, please come to the lectern, or when your turn is called uh, remotely, please clearly state your name and address and speak into the microphone, so that your comments can be understood by all and properly recorded. Uh, if you're going to read from a prepared statement, kindly give a copy or email a copy to the Milburn Short Hills SID at tracy at exploremilburnshorthills.org. Uh, just to help facilitate an orderly meeting and to permit everyone who wishes to be heard to do so, we ask that you limit your comments to three minutes. Um, do we want to start online? Start uh, with... Nobody has their hand raised? Okay, we'll start with anybody in the audience, please. 
Vicky Powell, 358 Milburn Avenue, Shala. Uh, great fame event. Too bad it rained. I wish it would, you know, but we're having music on Saturday. It's supposed to be a great weekend. So that's exciting. Just a couple things. Um, wanted to know if the marketing and social media was going to, who's doing a great job, is going to start to ramp up a little bit more. Maybe if we can get an intern, maybe to can maybe do videos of the five districts, more ramping up at the social media of the promoted posts, maybe do some ads, come to Milburn, we're open weekends, you know, I don't know, but I think it needs to be a little bit more mm -hmm. looking forward to hearing what's going on with the website because it's like giving birth. It's taken a long time. So I'm hoping to see some new stuff coming out on that. Um, and my other main concern is, so it looks like, you know, the, with the flex parking, we don't know what's going to happen. We're voting again next week in the meeting. I wanted to know what the SID is going to do to maybe help us if this happens? Are they gonna have a marketing plan out to tell people that Milburn's open for business um, to try to facilitate this horrendous thing that could potentially be happening in the summer and ruin all our business in August? Because you know it's gonna be jackhammers. It's not gonna be saw cut as people think that it is. It's gonna be jackhammers. So I really would hope that you guys take, a not a position, take some, initiative to help us merchants that are going to be directly affected in the month of August if this happens and gets voted on to be pushed through. So I really would like to uh, the marketing department to really help us out because we're going to need it. It's going to be a disaster. Um, also, if we having sidewalk sales June and July, are we going to start pr promoting that? Are we going to send an email to the merchants telling them and reminding them that in June, July, the Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, we're allowed to have wares out on the street corners. It would be nice to get a big group to make it like an open air market type of thing, you know, branded a different way if you want to, but it would be nice to try to pull people into coming into town. Um, oh, and I forgot to ask any word about the gift certificate the, that we were going to have, the gift certificate in town, merchant wise gift certificate, if we have any updates on that. And I hope we're thinking about fall events because, you know, it's right around the corner and it would be nice to start thinking about that. All right, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, good evening. My name is Jeffrey Feld from 11 Alexander Lane, Short Hills, New Jersey. Um, I don't know really where to begin. It's not usually that I would be agreeing with Liz Cheney about the importance of the rule of law and our constitutional obligations. The reason I say that, it's, we have been confirming that there's been no legal opinion received by any attorney regarding the validity of this entity. There's litigation. This afternoon, there was various document dumps through pursuant to Oprah that I received and other people received regarding the costs that have been filed in the litigation. And I will really would like to stop back. I don't know this gentleman, but at the last meeting, I asked whether we'd be asked allowed to speak about the validity of his walk-on contract. We were told we would not be able to speak. I find that kind of ironic that there's an ad that's posted about the Essex County Board of um, Commissioners regarding, and they recognize the right of people to speak prior to official action. Yesterday, I appeared in front of the local finance board before every finance application, the yes was a simple question. Is there anyone from the public that would like to speak on those issues? That did not happen. There's really serious questions about the validity of this men's general uh, retention, the validity of this organization. As to documents of Oprah, I think you have to ask the BA whether a copy of the new civil rights resolution policy has been distributed to each of these members. In addition, whether each of these members have filed their ethics finance disclosure statements. Um, also, it's outrageous. Today is what, May 13th. We still have not received a copy of the, this gentleman's contract. Under Oprah, that document is supposed to be immediately producible. Um, about that. Also, at the last meeting, the CC meeting about the budget, there's a question about the increase of this gentleman's. I'm not trying to, be, I'm not insulting you, 
that his salary increased $20,000 of the prior person. Under budget law, there was a question whether you had to change your budget to reflect that item increase. It didn't happen. Because it's more than 10%, I think the budget law required you to go re-notice it. It did not happen. There's a series of pattern of actions that I am discovering. It's only by pure fluke that I'm here. Because of the way you treated some of the people in the community, I came involved. There's been no feasibility study here. And one thing is the chairperson we found since the last meeting, he's all city municipal attorney for Bloomfield. And there's questions they have a sit and whether we are like theirs. Nancy Stone, 266 Essex Street, Melbourne, New Jersey. Specifically, you're a newbie. You haven't introduced yourself to the community yet, but I'm Nancy Stone. I have a business in town almost 30 years. I was the treasurer of the previous DMDA that dissolved because I see Tara's on the uh, Zoom because Tara, uh, was so adamantly opposed to Jillian's $70,000 salary and outraged by that salary. And here, you clearly didn't do your due diligence about what's going on in this community about the special improvement district. And at least we had Greenbaum Row representing us, which was a town, you know, top law firm, because that's the way we rolled, representing us and finding out about the buy-in. There was no buy-in, no feasibility study, I don't understand how they can walk on a budget that was absolutely unacceptable in the first SID, which is why it dissolved with a $70,000 executive director that did a very good job with a previous president sitting right here, Vicki Powell, who was the president at the time and handed it over to DJ. It is outrageous that we have taken taxpayer and I'm also a resident that we have taken taxpayer dollars to fund this during a pandemic when clearly Mr. Heller just bought the carry the uh, Charlie Brown building without the SID. So really interesting that all of this happened while we didn't have a SID. And now are you gonna take credit for the fact that he bought the building now because we have a SID that had nothing to do with it? I wait to see what happens with that. With that said, you really needed to do your due diligence because if you had any credibility, you wouldn't accept the job with an executive director that was here for 30 days. So clearly you didn't do your due diligence. I have 12 seconds, I'm gonna take advantage of it. Reference to the, the events, I don't understand how you can continue. And Tara, you're listening clearly which I'm glad how you can continue to endorse an organization that you were so adamantly against for being unproductive. You can do all these little so-called events and it's 50% of the budget is going towards administrative expenses, which is what you were against. And now you're the mayor in charge and you're condoning this behavior now, which is opposite of everything that you fought when you were on this side of the fence. Good evening, Jean Pasternak, 342 Hobart Avenue. I'm gonna read mostly a prepared statement. I sent an email on May 5th to Steve Grillo. Um, I guess that's who you are. <laughs> asking about the FAME event that uh, was opened up to the community and nonprofits to participate in. I asked about the Facebook group called Happy Milburn and wondered if it would be okay for other Milburn Facebook groups to be included. He responded, uh, he introduced himself and I'm re in receipt of your email. I'd like to explain the format of the event. The community zone will host tables from 12 to two and is designed for community and nonprofit groups focused on the positive and collaborative growth of Milburn. The groups that have signed on are participating to advance this goal, I encourage you to attend. So I replied, I do not understand. I'm confused by your definition of who is welcome to be a part of this event in light of what transpired at the May 4th Township Committee public meeting and the May 5th local planning board meeting. 
How does a public entity funded with taxpayer trust fund monies and using public land and space decide what community and nonprofit groups advocate positive and collaborative growth of Melbourne? Isn't that constitutionally prohibited free speech? Content discrimination. Steve replied, as you have brought up a question of free speech interpretations and legalities, I will refer your inquiry to the SID's attorney. I consider this matter closed uh, as far as the SID goes in discussion. So he, um, I then suggested he also ask about the validity of the SID and his retention agreement under state laws. He replied again on May 7th, I spoke with our attorney, Ryan Cooper, on the questions you had concerning the FAME event, the validity of the bid and the validity of my hiring as ED. These were asked by email on May 6th, and he said, the questions regarding the FAME event, this is what the attorney said, is hypothetical since no group requesting participation was turned away and planning for the event is now complete. Didn't answer my question. Therefore, there is no question to address. As for the questions regarding the SID and your retention, I'm not aware of any written opinions by counsel on these subjects. I thought that was a significant comment, hence some of the comments that Mr. Feld made I concur with. Um, I conclude that not everyone in the community is, in fact, welcome to participate in events uh, sponsored by the SID, but only those who, in the eyes of the SID gods, whatever, advocate positive and collaborative growth of Milburn. I think this is wrong. I think everyone should be welcome. If it's on uh, being funded by taxpayers, on taxpayer properties, there should be no limitations as to who participates. Do you know, was there someone who was turned away? I, I didn't. I did not say that. No, no I'm asking the question. I, I don't know. You'd have to ask the okay. people who organized it. Secondly, there are no um, written legal opinions, and um, the, uh, on the retention agreement, this also to me seems like it. It means you've got to take a pause. I'd also like to ask, since you are um, the um, uh, municipal attorney in, in Bloomfield, is there an elected or appointed SID board in that township? And I'd also like to know if the ethics financial disclosure statements are available for public perusal. Thank you. Anybody else? Uh, no one has their hand raised. Okay. All right, then we're going to general updates. Um, if we're, if we're going to go through my, my CV, uh, I was also a, uh, a basketball coach with the rec department and I was on the Milburn soccer club. You forgot to include those as well, if that's relevant to whatever discussion we're having. Okay, we have proposed board meeting schedule updates. Um, looking to change the start time of our meetings from seven to 6.30. Uh, particularly starting with the June 17th meeting. Uh, I think we had some questions now that people are back to commuting if that was going to be uh, a problem or not. Um, but if not, I, just to get us started a little earlier, if that's available, if that's uh, okay for everybody. Anybody have anything to say? It's fine. Any issue? Okay. Richard, I know you're a uh, commuter. Is that an uh, issue? Uh, it is an issue, but uh, I can find a way around it if everybody else is okay with it. Um, you know, whatever. Okay. Well, why don't, why don't we just try that for June? We'll try it for June. June. Yeah, maybe, we'll we'll maybe we can relook at it if, if I have and, trouble and we getting can notice by. accordingly. Yeah. yeah. And, but we'll uh, try it. Yeah, we'll try it. All right. So uh, we will notice that, but. Um, I could just state it here since we're in the public record. Uh, we will be moving the, well, hold on, let's go to the next part. We were talking about possibly moving the date, changing the date of the June 17th meeting. Is that the, the June 10th too. I'm sorry, June, the June 10th meeting? It was the June 10th meeting, oh. moved to the 17th. Moved to the 17th. All right, does anybody have uh, any conflicts with the 17th? The 17th. The 19th would be the holiday. Um, I'm good. Here. So I, I spoke incorrectly. It's currently scheduled for June 10th. We would move it one week to the 17th at 6.30. Anybody have any conflicts with that? I'm good. Okay. I, I had spoken to one of the other board, to Jamana, who's not here, and um, about potential change. And uh, 
she would uh, support it as well as I do because there is some conflicts on the 10th, some graduations, uh, private school graduations are that evening. So it would be, if at all possible, to move it to the 17th. Okay. That would be so fair. we'll do a public notice um, to advertise that the meeting's being changed to June 17th at 6.30 uh, at Milburn Town Hall in this room. Okay. Um, just one item that popped up this morning, kind of a general update. Uh, I was able to participate in a call uh, today with the folks organizing Tour de Milburn, uh, which if you don't know, that is a community bike ride. Um, started last year, I think. It's scheduled for September 12th, and it'll be traveling through different parts of town, including not just the downtown, but uh, some of the other districts. I know for sure uh, it'll go up to Chatham Road. It goes down by the park, and they would like to have... Uh, us involved to the extent that maybe we can piggyback an event. So it'll be in the morning on the 12th. There will be uh, hopefully a lot of people around and we can do, brainstorm to get something going on that. Uh, some of the things that were talked about was coffee trucks, bakery carts, something like that, maybe something even bigger than that, uh, maybe promoting, um, you know, do some advertising in advance again i'm just spitballing up here but maybe we could refer this to the planning and events committee since we have some time uh but it is on september 12th so i just wanted to bring that up that that came up today uh next Michael, do, they, yeah. do they have a tentative time for that event is it a 10 a.m i think 10 a.m i think it's 10 it's, it's various times there's three rides uh, right uh, a 12 mile seven mile and a two mile mm -hmm. um and the uh the, the 12 mile starts um i believe that's at uh nine o'clock okay nine o'clock okay so if we could um september 12th Jaman and Nadej and Jackie, maybe we could add that to the uh, planning and events idea uh, committee thinking. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, updates from township committee meeting, Mr. Wasserman. Yeah, thank you. Um, I have a few, a couple comments, and I also want to want to speak to uh, uh, Vicki Powell's co uh, questions about flex parking. Uh, first thing. Uh, I want. Uh, I want. As everybody knows, the the budget uh, was passed by the township committee unanimously and with full support. So I just wanted to make make that clear. Um, and um, and there's a lot of uh, support for the work that we're doing. Um, also, uh, I also want to uh, mention that uh, speaking uh, to internships, you know, that how that could help us. Uh, Mr. Grillo and I have a meeting tomorrow morning with, uh, with a representative from Milburn High School um, with one of the teachers, and we're going to be looking at, uh, at a program that they, are, that they have uh, with eight students, that, and we're going to see if we can work with them and, uh, and you know, potentially help these kids get you know, job training, internships. You know, we're, this is our initial meeting. But it could be a really great thing that uh, that we do, and uh, especially with our relationship with the business community, it could be uh, something uh, that we could, you know, institute and grow with. Um, other than that, uh, at the last TC, TC meeting, uh, I sponsored an ordinance um, updating. Uh, it was updating our current zoning in uh, many of our districts. Um, it's uh, ordinance number 2577-21. Um, so we, so it was introduced and it basically uh, would update a lot of the permitted uses and, um, and hopefully it would, it would, you know, it, it basically would lower a lot of barriers that exist in town for uh, allowing different businesses into, you know, into doing business in our township. Uh, and uh, so I'm very excited about that because I think there's a lot of potential to bring in really great businesses without all the current, you know, current red tape. So that's something I'm working on. Um, and that's, um, you know, and, and so that's basically the update, from, update on that. Uh, in terms of flex parking, you know, the TC is taking this up. We're really considering it in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, you know long-term viability, um, and I think they're, they're you know we're going to make a decision on it in the next meeting. Uh, I've said you know publicly that 
Um, there has to be, you know, project manager, there has to be great communication, there has to be, you know, a very really great uh, working relationship with our, our local businesses. I, I, I understand exactly, you know, your concern, and I share your concern. Um, and um, all I can tell you is that when it's discussed, I'm going to just make sure that, um, you know, the concerns are addressed, and that um, we can't do this without a really great working plan. So, uh, I don't know, you know, what's going to happen, but I will tell you that I'll make sure that that is communicated clearly. And and I I, I can't I would only support a plan that uh, that is a detailed plan with a project manager with great communication. And I can just pledge to you that I'll try to do all those things, and I'll try to make sure the communication is great. Um, so I just wanted to mention that. Richard, can I before you get off flex parking? Sure. Can I just ask? Uh, and it's really my own ignorance on it. Is is there? Uh, you said there's going to be something voted on. Is it to go forward and explore, uh, get an engineering plan, or like to start the next week? Well, actually, what Alex, do you, do you want to speak to? Yeah, I can speak to the to, to the timing and how that work would work. It, it, it's really, the, I think, the committee is going to have have a conversation about whether they want to pursue bids to do the work. Mm -hmm. um, and so should they decide that they do want to pursue bids to do the work, then there's a lot of other things that, that yeah. need to fall into place. Yep. Um, you know, uh, the funding, the, the, the bid specifications, the going out to bid, receiving the bid, awarding the bid, and, and, and getting it done. So that, I, I think that's where it is. Right now, it's yeah. just, do we, do, I think the committee is deciding, go forward or not. And just so we're all on the same page, is it to return to what was there prior to the flex parking being put in or something a little bit different? Well, I think to just to- to, 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 to remind you that they can't do any of this. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll go ahead. So um, just, just to be clear, it is not, when you say return to the way it was before well, flex I mean, parking- is it adding, re restoring the lane of traffic? No. no, it is not. It is, it is removing flex parking, putting in curb parking um, and, and traditional, you know, curbed, you know, parallel parking. Up to where the bollards are, I guess. Cor that correct. Would be where yeah, are. you can use that line of bollards as your, as your, as your, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Richard, I'm sorry I interrupted you. I just wanted to get make sure I was on the, the right page with that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so that's what, so that'll be that'll come up at the next meeting, and uh, I will make sure that the bit, that the concerns from the business community are heard. And you know I don't know exactly what you know uh, I'm not sure what decision is going to be made yet, but it's definitely going to be considered. And um, and you know so that's where we're at right now. Yeah. And, and I think just. I think everybody agrees with what Vicki said. We we need to. I I don't know what the committee is going to do on this or how what the timing will be, but Vicky's absolutely right that whatever we have to do to minimize interruption, inconvenience, um, we have to, to do it. Know, Perry yeah. Urso could not get on the Zoom for the public comment. She has a statement. Okay. Just okay. to let you know. Okay. Um. So I, I think that's of paramount importance. Yeah. You know, yeah. No, I, I agree. We, we don't want to, we don't have to, you know, relitigate the past, but let's. I, 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 I agree with you. I know, yeah. I know it was very disruptive when it was installed and, uh, and we don't want to make the same mistakes, you know. Yeah, I think uh, we can, we, we, we could learn. We've and, learned and. And it has to be, you know, the, the, the devil's done. in the details. It has to be done right. And I, you know, I'm the first to tell you that, you know. Uh, any other updates, Richard? Uh, no, that's those are the main updates. I'm uh, I'm really hopeful that um, our zoning update uh, with Ordinance 2577-21 uh, passes, um, uh, and that that would I guess that would happen by June 1st. 
Um, and does that, that would, give some more flexibility? I think like in the B2 and the, uh, the B2, zones. The, the B2, the B3, um, and, it, and it really addresses uh, more, more permitted uses. Uh, it makes it, you know, it makes entryway into the township uh, a, little, a little easier um, and a little more manageable. Um, but I will tell you, you know, the other thing that's in the in this ordinance, it also raises some of the standards in, in terms of, uh, it's, you know, it raises some of the standards in terms of uh, lighting, uh, garbage maintenance, you know, so we're also making sure that we, uh, that while new businesses are going to be coming, well, may be coming in, we're going to make sure that they're good neighbors. And we're going to make sure that we do our part to make sure that we have no, you know, no problems with uh, with noise, lighting, garbage, road and abatement. You know, we're going to we really want to raise the standard on those items also. Um, just to piggyback on there, there are uh, there is a document of frequently asked questions on the website uh, about the ordinance in case people are interested. Yeah. OK, um, we're moving along to subcommittee updates, uh, starting with our planning and events. And um, first of all, if I could just give a general thank you to everybody who got the Fame Festival um, off and running. Uh, you cannot control the weather. I think we had people out there. Um, we did take advantage of the inside space at um, in uh, Bauer Center. and I. Some of those classes were very well attended. I know the Art Vino uh, classes were fairly well attended. So um, uh, we, we took our lemons and made some lemonade, which was good. So uh, I think the, that's the first item here, F Fame Festival report. Mr. Grillo, welcome. Thank you, Chairman. I'm sorry I wasn't the first one to welcome you tonight, but welcome. <laughs> Uh, there, with, with the chairman's permission, there, there was an individual here earlier who had quite a loud cell phone chime for uh, their text messages. I think that individual has subsequently left, but uh, of course, common courtesy would dictate that uh, at a public meeting, uh, everyone should just uh, keep their cell phone silenced. So just to remind, I don't know if you can hear it behind the plexiglass. Um, so in, in terms of the Fame Festival, um, first off, thank you to the committee. Uh, you began working on that before I was brought on. Um, so I had the luxury of uh, filling it at the very last moment. I got to pinch hit in the bottom of the ninth and, and take some of the heroics. Um, but it was a great event put on by a number of wonderful members of the community. And, and if you'll uh, bear with me, I'd like to read off the, the groups that participated. Uh, Kika Stretch Studio, the Bhakti Barn Yoga, uh, Short Hills Club Pilates, and Pure Bar uh, provided free exercise classes, which were quite well attended. Um, and I hope that folks go out and uh, utilize those uh, those groups later on in their personal lives. Um, secondarily, uh, Artavino did three different classes uh, for Mother's Day painting programs, which were very well attended, so thank you to them. Over a dozen not-for-profit and community groups participated in the Community Zone program, uh, which was indoors at the Bauer Center due to uh, quite the deluge of rain. So uh, and I want to thank DPW and Recreation for being exceptionally flexible uh, and working with us and allowing us to utilize that space on short notice. Uh, we also did have some family entertainment, and then we also were scheduled to have um, some music that evening. Obviously, the weather uh, required us to change that, and Jackie will be speaking on the schedule momentarily. Um, and so, you know, I think the takeaway for me, uh, yes, the, the foot traffic was lower than we had hoped uh, due to the, the significant weather, um, but we did have over 150 folks um, that were, uh, we'll call individually touched. Those are people coming up to uh, the welcome tent, coming to classes, and, and overall, I think that was a, a great success given the weather conditions and being the day before holiday. Um, and the, the overwhelming majority of those folks had never interacted with Explore Millburn before. And that to me is the key takeaway in terms of bid administration and bid operations. Um, the marketing was very strong. The social media presence was strong. And to have a lot of folks who had never heard of this program before uh, be engaged in a really positive manner, I thought was really terrific. So, uh, you know, that, that the takeaway was, was really positive. And so um, very happy with the event. And I thank all of those that were involved. And we did have some prizes. We did have some prizes. We're giving away some of those prizes already. We had some folks coming in today uh, to pick up their uh, their rewards. So um, I, I'm sorry, I'm remiss. 17 businesses uh, also did promotions during the the event. So if you uh, if you went in and you mentioned uh, you, the business and the event, you were able to get uh, discounted gifts and, and such. So uh, overall, I think the engagement across the board was very robust. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, live music updates because Jackie has control and power over the weather. So, uh, <laughs> so yes, we made the decision. Thank you, everyone. We made the decision that it was best in the interest of the community to postpone and reschedule our music events. And uh, due to some scheduling conflicts, we were able to also provide music on Friday evening. So on Friday evening, we'll have poet section 6 to 8 p.m. on the Main Street closure. And then Saturday, we'll have our music palooza, as I've been calling it to my friends and anybody that'll listen. So starting with Big Romance from 4 to 5.30, 5.30 to 7.30 is last exit. And Midnight Sun is 7.30 to 9. And that will be on the, the main in Milburn, the Taylor Park side from 4 to 5.30. So we'll also take advantage of our, our merchants and some shoppers during the late afternoon. Anybody who's grabbing a late uh, snack, perhaps, or a, uh, a late lunch or an early dinner. Lot one, which is the, um, the lot next uh, across from Fiamma, where Karamia has their outpost, that will be the 5.30 to 7.30. And then 7.30 to 9 will be at um, on Milburn Avenue. Continuing with our what I'll call our summer concert series, on May 21st from 6 to 8, we'll have Mrs. Eller and the Fellers up at Boxcar. 6-4, which is Friday, uh, Friday evening, 6.30 to 10, is the Red Light Band. That will be downtown. And then on 6-12, we have Last Exit performing up by Boxcar. Um, we, will, we are looking at some programming also up on Upper Milburn Avenue for 6.25 or 7.9. We're just kind of playing through the schedule and seeing what, what happens. Also looking at some uh, at, at that whole block area um, to see what's best because there really isn't a municipal spot up there that's conducive, but we're, we're, we're gonna be creative and we're working through it. So thank you, please come. Uh, please come enjoy some live music. The weather is supposed to be great this weekend, made to order. And uh, we welcome your, um, your attendance and participation. Um, there will also be another community event that uh, the Cultural Engagement, Diversity and Arts Committee will be sponsoring with our, our dear friends of, of the paper mill. That will be Sunday, June 27th. Uh, uh, it'll be paper mill in the park. It'll be the kickoff event of our, what we're gonna uh, call our CETA Sundays. Uh, this will be uh, held from 1 to 2.30. We'll be using the Rex band shell. It'll be interactive. There'll be show tunes. This will be in Taylor Park. More information certainly to follow. Please follow us on social media. Um, we are uh, the, the uh, Explore Melbourne Short Hills will be ass assisting CETA, which is a recognized township uh, group uh, to make sure that uh, residents and pushing it out. It's a community event um, and we're very excited about it. And Paper Mill is beginning to uh, restore uh, the light in the building and the light so they, they will have a robust program moving forward. So we, we welcome them. So thank you. Um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Always happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. Um, no questions, we'll move on to marketing, Tracy and Jumana. You could update us on that, please. Okay, uh, I'll start with the update. Um, and I know Vicki had asked about the website. So a lot of work has been going on behind the scenes. Um, it's coming along really well. The design is finalized. We actually just provided all of the final content today. We have a couple of um, photographers lined up. We really wanna have some great quality photos from throughout the five districts and really throughout town, including green spaces. You know, We really want to um, showcase what a great draw all of Milburn Short Hills is. So we're super excited. We're targeting a launch in, um, in June. We are also um, spending some time We've been looking at a lot of different SID and destination websites to also um, 
determine the best format for our directory, because obviously that's going to be a central part of the website is going to be uh, making it easy for people to find a business, a restaurant, um, you know, another service and encourage them again. And this will be really reaching out to both residents and visitors. It's really targeted towards both audiences. So um, more to come. We will definitely want to have a couple of people um, <coughs> you know, during a kind of final testing phase, explore it. So Vicki, I would like love if you or anybody else would like to be one of those folks, please let me know. Um, happy to share that. And then I'll just mention on the social media, um, we've been all putting a lot of focus on that. Um, we really were able to leverage really well some of the recent promotions, the gems and the fame. We've had some really nice engagement and kind of ramping up the highlighting of different business categories in the different districts. I know this is something that Steve is, um, one, one of the top things on his list is thinking about our marketing plan, um, including social media um, and some possible resources for that. So I know he's hoping to reconvene our marketing committee within the next couple of weeks. Jimana, do you have any I don't, No, I don't really have on? anything. Um, to add, but I think, like you know, Tracy said, we're try we're setting up a meeting in the week after next to to get together with the marketing committee and and to discuss some of those the issues. I'm sure you, I guess you're talking about the website and social media, but nothing else really. Any questions from anybody? Is, is, there, is there a, guess, um, Did you address? Did, I don't know if I, I heard. Did you? Is there a launch date for the website or a? We said that? we're hoping for early June. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Jiman is just mentioning. I think, and I was yeah. just, just to mention that we also started, um, I, I don't know how many we put out, two or three community newsletters um, to a group of 1100, I think, a growing group, growing group, a growing group of, uh, yeah, of email recipients of the community newsletter, separate from the ones that we send out to the yeah. merchants. That's great, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, next, we're gonna move on to business development and advocacy groups. Uh, first, we have uh, community focus groups. So, Jack, yes, I think that's so, back to you. Yeah, so I'll just talk a little bit and I know Steve will jump in. So we've been meeting monthly, the business development and advocacy group. And um, uh, one of the things that we're uh, working on that's really in, in, at the final edit stage is a, um, is basically a pitch book, a, a, a manual, if you will, for new, potential new businesses where the, what they need, the resources that are available to them, the kinds of where they need to go, how they need to navigate. Um, so that's that's in the, it, that was something that uh, was started and, uh, and I'm grateful that Steve has really uh, uh, stepped up and, and take ownership of it. Thank you to Tracy for the uh, some of the pictures and the content with uh, Mr. Hubble, I think, right? Am I pronouncing his name correctly? That's been uh, supplying the photography. So we're we're um, we're coming along nicely on that. Um, and then what? Uh, do you want to talk about these focus groups, or should I? Or yeah, okay. So also thank you, Tracy. Um, we will be uh, uh, engaging in some focus groups uh, to utilizing two residents, both um, Deb Fox and Alan Steinberg, and really having um, not a survey, but a, a, a honed focus group with both um, merchants as well as landlords, uh, particularly in our outlier uh, districts outside of the downtown. And we think that'll happen sometime mid-June, I believe, um, is what it's to really look at both um, quantitative as well as qualitative research uh, in the areas of the downtown um, and really uh, drill down a little bit more succinctly in terms of what the needs are. So I look forward to uh, under Steve's leadership and uh, we'll be moving that along as well. Thank you. Sorry, thank you. Um, Steve, you wanted to jump in? Yes, thank you, Chairman. Um, the business success kit that Jackie mentioned is a promotional document uh, I was given 
the skeleton of uh, from my predecessor, and then uh, we put together pretty much a final draft. Um, I'm going to share it with the marketing team uh, now that we're ready to go. Um, and then we do have a meeting later this month with the business advocacy committee. Once everyone signs off, I think we're ready to proceed using that as a uh, as a marketing tool, not only for existing businesses so that we can provide necessary information for day to day operations, um, especially at the municipal level. How do you get your recycling picked up and what are the street cleaning rules and tree pit rules and all those kinds of things, um, but also as a good tool when people do engage us. And I will tell you that I've only been here, I think, nine days now, uh, nine business days, but I have had stakeholder meetings with probably the better part of 20 businesses so far. Um, and the questions uh, tend to be repetitive. And I've, I've been doing bid work for 10 years and they often are repetitive. It's the same questions and concerns. And so if you can codify that and provide a written document, it often makes businesses lives much easier. Um, speaking of which, uh, there is a new program that has come out through the uh, latest federal funding. Uh, it's called the Restaurant Revitalization Fund. And it is for uh, restaurants, breweries, bars, bakeries, et cetera. Um, and so I put together a fact sheet on that. All of you actually have it in your packets. Um, thank you to, uh, to the chairman, especially, who reviewed that and gave some uh, excellent feedback. I've been distributing that not only, uh, we, we did a mailing uh, to all of our, uh, the folks on our mailing list. We put it on our social media this morning. Uh, thank you to Tracy for a, a very nice post. I've also been going door to door and meeting with restaurant owners um, and explaining the program to them. Um, as of today, I have met with 38 out of 42 eligible uh, businesses uh, face to face. So, um, you know, I've been hitting the pavement, meeting folks. Obviously, they are all very much interested in some free federal money uh, to support their businesses. It's pretty flexible. Um, I do encourage folks, if you are listening in the public or listening on a recording here, um, it is a very, very tight turnaround. Um, just to explain the scope, if you don't mind, I was on a call today with the SBA administrator. That's the entity that's doing this work, just like with the PPP. Uh, the fund is $28.6 billion with a B. Uh, the first 21 days have been dedicated to MWBE, that's Minority and Women Businesses, as well as businesses in underserved economic areas. They received 265,000 applications in the first week. Um, and so that is an allocation of $65 billion. Obviously, that is uh, three times what they have in the fund. Um, and so not everyone is going to get 100% of their request. Um, but uh, we definitely want to encourage Milburn businesses to be very quick about this. Um, I did encounter two or three businesses that have already started the process, um, but I provided in that document the login portal, the phone number for information at SBA in Newark, my contact information, as well as all the documents that you'll need to submit. Uh, so hopefully, you know, some of the businesses here in town will be able to benefit from this program. I should say restaurants and bars as well. Um, and that is it for my report. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Steve. It's very, very helpful. I appreciate it. You know, Two-sided, one-page is manageable for everybody. So thank you. You usually get about 30 seconds when you walk into a restaurant and exactly want to talk to somebody. Right. You got to be quick. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's you've business success and U.S. Uh, SBA restaurant. Solar Trees, Richard. Yeah, I just thought, you know, I wanted to keep this more as a discussion. Oh, oh. oh there you go. sorry, sorry. I, I just wanted to keep this more of a discussion because, you know, I, I think part of our mission is to do streetscaping and lighting. And, you know, we've had conversations and, and, and again, uh, the solar trees was just is a project I'm working on, you know, uh, with the township. And this would be something that, that we would piggyback. But I, but uh, again, in talking to you know our our, our members, uh, you know I think that there was some hesitancy that maybe that maybe there was a, you know a, a different plan or or something else that we could do. So you know again, I I would only you know I only wanted to recommend it because I think it's a, you know it's a great thing to to, to uh, do, um, and the township is going to be is is doing it, but I just thought that might be something we wanted to participate in. But I just thought I would throw it out there in terms of your feedback um, and um, and see what, what what your sentiment was. And again, I'm not, you know, tied to it, tied to it per se. I only want to do it if, uh, 
if uh, if uh, if we think it's a great idea as a whole. So did the town issue the bid yet or the RFP? Not yet. Not not yet. That was not, the plan. Though, yeah, right, to... yeah, that that okay. is the plan. Okay. Yeah, that is a plan, and that'll be uh, that'll be happening by next Thursday. Yeah, by next Thursday. So, um, so yeah, we're going to be doing that. So this is, uh, you know, so this is this is where we're at. Um, but again, you know, I've discussed it with Mr. Grillo, um, and again, there's different things that we can do uh, down the road. It doesn't have to be this project, but I just, you know, I brought it. It's like if anybody, if anybody has a great idea, <laughs> you bring it forward. But, um, but again, you know, I just wanted to know your feedback, sentiment, what you, what, what the board was thinking. I could share a thought. I mean, thank you for bringing yeah, it to us, sure. and it's good to know the ideas that are going on. And I mean, certainly there's a lot of efforts that are intertwined all with the common goal of, you know, boosting our businesses and our environment. So the idea of having, a, you know, some beauty and nature and a consistent look mm -hmm. around the different parts of town seems really positive. I think I still feel similar to some of the questions at the last meeting and especially with Steve being here mm -hmm. and things like our focus groups coming up and really talking with the businesses, my personal feeling is in terms of the SIDS involvement mm -hmm. would be, I really wanna understand a lot more of what things are most important for the business mm -hmm. and our budget you know, that we do have that goes towards you know, streetscape or signage and things like that get thoughts and also especially from Steve with his expertise and again with the input from the businesses what would give us the biggest bang for the buck mm -hmm. and be the hardest hitting so to me it yeah I wouldn't feel ready to okay. make a decision on that okay. myself personally because I'd want to understand a lot more the learnings we're going to be getting in the next couple of months of what's most okay. important to the businesses and then really prioritize our efforts okay. but okay. it does seem like a nice initiative overall. I mean, I guess I wonder if, do we need a subcommittee or a group to focus on like a, 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 pl a plan to solicit the feedback of businesses, see if trees may be part of the answer or if it's seating or raised bed flowers or different lighting in different areas. I mean, I, I guess I, it does seem like we would need feedback I mean, from businesses and then sort of a, a plan, a multi-year plan of some type. I mean, hopefully part of the market research and as Jackie mentioned, the two, yeah people who volunteered that you mentioned, Deb Fox is a professional, yeah. longtime qualitative researcher and Alan Steinberg has a lot of experience on the quantitative front. So right. I would yeah. hope we're gonna get some learning. Yeah. yeah, I get, you know, if the town proceeds, I mean, I do like the ideas um, around maybe buying some very fancy, nice plaques that either, yeah. either you know, the explore Milburn Short Hills, that might bring the continuity that we're looking for as well. Um, but there, certainly is a, there certainly is a branding, you know, I, I'll also yeah. mention there, there, the way the trees are set up. And again, just so everybody knows the trees are right outside, we have a mock-up of two trees. And part of our thinking was also to, uh, you know, I, I, there was some feedback that the lighting wasn't bright enough. And I think we're addressing that. We're gonna tweak that. So make sure that the lighting is a little brighter. Um, but there's also a branding opportunity on the base of the trees where it could, you know, uh, you know, that, that could be a nice branding opportunity also as we go forward. But, you know, again, we could revisit this later, you know, maybe after our focus groups and, uh, you know, uh, I don't think it's off the table to any, to any extent. May I make a comment, Mr. Chairman? Uh, so I think there's, in terms of our streetscaping budget, we should consider that there really are two categories, right? There's the capital side of it. And I would consider these trees to be capital. Yeah. It's a loose term, but um, I, I think you get my point. Um, but then there's also the maintenance part of it, right? And so um, if you go up by Jamana's business, uh, the tree pits are very different than the tree pits and swales uh, on this side of Main Street. And so uh, same thing on uh, Morris Turnpike. Uh, there's definitely an opportunity to do some landscape improvements there that I would not consider necessarily capital. Um, but I think in terms of our budget, we, we need to assess those. Um, but furthermore, and I've had this conversation with a number of you, um, Jamana and, and um, Tracy and I are working actively on our branding program. 
Um, we don't have street poll banners, which of course are very typical. We don't have uh, welcome signs to each of the five districts. I think that's a critical component of visual placemaking um, that we need to uh, examine. I don't foresee that being a particularly long process. Um, I think that's probably something that we could accomplish in the next 45 to 60 days. Um, and so once we have a branding program in place and we know what our color coding will look like per district, we know what some of the expectations will be, uh, then I think the question to uh, committee member Wasserman's uh, point is, is I think it'll be easier for us to look at a branding program for other things such as the trees. Right. Um, so let us get to point A, which is determining the basics of the branding. I foresee that will be done very soon. And then we can start thinking about not only on the, the potential of purchasing or sponsoring trees, but a whole variety of other things throughout town. Because once we have that system in place, we then just replicate it going forward. It's a bit like the Nike swoosh. You don't have to reinvent the swoosh, you just change the sneaker. Right. So same concept. I think that's a good idea. I... Thank you, Richard. Anybody else have any comments? Okay. All right, so it sounds like we're going to, um, as lawyers sometimes say, take it under advisement a little bit and um, maybe uh, check in with some of our constituent businesses and uh, really uh, the focus groups and, and um, evaluate where we're going with this. But uh, I think to, Rich, to Richard's point, you're right. It's, it's a good idea. It's important that when we have good ideas, we bring them to the table. If it's not today, maybe it's next week, maybe it's you know some later time, but I think it's important. Uh, anything else under business development and advocacy? No? Okay, if not, Stephen, we'll move on to you and the expense review. Sure, um, thank you. So um, yeah, Richard, thank you. I'm super happy our budget was approved and um, um, that, that would be a nice, <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I said budget. Um, yeah, so that, that'll be- We're not be responsible nice for the electric bill, are we? <laughs> there we go. Um, so um, as posted uh, on, on our website, these, these are the expenses from April 6th through May 10th. And, um, uh, we did have a total number of expenses, $8,255.60. Um, a, lot, a lot more events-related expenses. Uh, uh, it's can marketing uh, with respect to marketing consulting services were the three largest expenses, and that's, that's, that's fairly routine. And then, it and then the rest were really just to support our um, activities and, and events, because um, we've held, held several of them. Um, I'm just reading now, and, and a little bit for office supplies. But uh, the checking account balance as of May 10th was $30,505.76. So um, looking forward to the infusion from the rest of the budget uh, now that it's been approved. Um, so that's it. I don't know if anyone has any questions or... Right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, board comments. Anybody have any comments? Anything that hasn't been covered that you'd like to cover? I, I just want to make one comment. Sorry. Uh, I just want to express my gratitude for Mr. Grillo and his. Uh, he didn't miss a beat. He actually he attended a couple of Zoom calls prior and just jumped right in. <coughs> and uh, I'll speak for myself, but. Um, I, I think the rest of the board members will share my sentiment that we're grateful you're here and we look forward to your leadership. And uh, I, I think you've gotten a sense. We have a tremendous amount of work to do. We're all engaged, we're all involved and uh, we're excited. So thank you from the, from the bottom of my heart. Can I, as long as, Go ahead. Former, yeah. as long as the former mayor started, I, I can't help myself. I also want to wel welcome uh, Mr. Grillo, uh, better known as Steve. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know, he's he he has uh, surpassed our you know our initial expectations. He, he you did the right thing. You got out of the office. You, you you knocked on doors. You're telling people who we are. You're facilitating SBA loans to our businesses. And uh, you know this is exactly what we're here for, and uh, and we'll hopefully we can get some of that grant money into uh, some of our uh, restaurants, uh, and that, that would be amazing. I I also want to welcome our attorneys, our new attorneys. They've been 
They've been really uh, help, helpful in terms of, uh, you know, helping us with our mission and, um, and they're excellent. And if, you, if anybody has a legal question about, about our work, you know, Mr. Cooper is here to, uh, to help us. And I want to welcome right. them and thank them for their service. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have Anyone a quick, sure. yeah, yeah, just, um, th there was a question earlier about the gift certificate, the status of the gift certificate uh, project. Um, we do have a copy of the agreement that was reviewed by council and now we're just reviewing. So we're looking at the contract. Um, hopefully that we'll be able to turn that around very quickly. Anyone else on this side of the ledger? I love that I saw him walking up and down at, you know, street visiting businesses. It's exactly what we needed. I think, and so far, I think, like to echo what Jackie said, he just kind of hit the ground running, and um, we're. I'm very excited to see what's coming next. Uh, I think Andrew Morgan. I, did he, is, he, is he raising his hand? Oh. Okay. Is there a thumbs up? But, but you might not be able to notice that Andrew has the uh, the logo behind the him. Explorer. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> That's That's good. Good. That is a great idea. Andrew, well, waiting for some oh, Marla on that one. I have no artistic ability. Marla, Marla just did what I asked her to do. So that one, everybody, I encourage you. They're cool logos. Put them, put them on your Zoom. It's good. Okay. Well, I, I too wanted to welcome Steve and and uh, really getting to know you a, a little better on Saturday was very insightful, and I think we could all see, and hopefully, uh, the businesses and the rest of the public can see that this is a person with some depth and some experience and some vision that I think is really going to help us. And uh, not to give Steve all the, the credit, but all of you who are here, um, you're all working, hardworking people, dedicated people. Uh, Saturday was a crappy day and you were, you were out there. And uh, I, I think it's a testament to the time and effort that everybody wants to put into this to see um, our businesses succeed. And some of it is your own businesses. And, and it's really a, a collective effort to see the entire community really raised up to the level, not that it's at a bad level, but to the level we think it should be, which could be even better than it is. And I, and I really appreciate that. And I think it's uh, you all, um, you know, you should all be, have some satisfaction in the work that, that we're doing here. So I think it's, uh, it's certainly appreciated by me for what that's worth. Um, anybody else, any comments? And thank you to our attorneys. The attorneys, you know, we're always off in a dark corner somewhere. <laughs> People are, uh, you know. Uh, Isn't there some the rule where attorneys can't thank other attorneys? It's just, <laughs> it's just obnoxious. Isn't that how it works? <laughs> Yeah. I'm married to one. I'm allowed to say that it's no, okay. It's like the Academy Awards. You know, you could just pass uh, pass awards back and forth. No, thank you both. You've been uh, again. Talk about hitting the ground running, Steve. You certainly have. Uh, Ray and Ryan, you certainly have, and uh, are, are helping us. And uh, listen, we we don't have all the answers, and um, we look to you guys for your professional support. So thank you very much. I have one other thing. I. Uh, I'd also like to thank Marla Itzkin for her Please, hard work. Please, I'm sorry. I, she, yes, I, she's I not in front of my face. So I, I know, exactly. And I, I don't see her on the screen. She's on. She's on. Okay, she's Marla, on. you're on mute or you're no, on it's invisible. Not, it's not a okay, so, um, uh, and I want to thank work. Marla for her hard work. Yeah, um, and she was out there in the, yes, in the rain. Yeah. The rain, so, right. And she's she's job. been... She's been with us from the beginning. So yep. thank you for thank you for all you do. Did you want to say anything, Andrew? I, I can't see. I, I honestly, I think I would just be repeating most of what you folks said. Um, everybody, especially like, I, I, if I could single out Tracy, I know Tracy does a ton of work and I see emails coming and I just know behind the scenes, she's really making a lot of the behind the scenes stuff tick and um, just appreciate Steve's uh, ability and thick skin. So I'm glad that uh, he's the guy and uh Looking forward to see what comes next. Did, did we leave out one thank you for uh, did we? Crazy Stan? No, what was his name? <laughs> Crazy, Crazy Kevin. Kevin. Crazy, Crazy Kevin. Kevin. He was he was all over. He, ah, here he here's a, a fun fact we got from Crazy Kevin. 
our very own Marla can juggle. Uh, she was just <laughs> we learned that. So right. all right. Uh anybody else? All right. Uh just a uh I guess uh, just a reminder. Next meeting will be well, we will notice it. I just I was writing myself a note to email you tomorrow, but it'll be June 17th, change date, June 17th at 6 30 p.m. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, there's nothing else. We have a motion to adjourn our meeting. So moved. Okay, good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Second.